regulations uh, video. I'm making a mini series of these videos uh, just to remind you guys the laws and regulations. I don't want to see any of my viewers, any of my subscribers get out in the field, forget plugs, uh, have lead shot on on you know on their person. All these all these laws and regulations that we as waterfowl hunters have to abide by. I want to just remind you guys about before the season actually gets here, which is in a week so in, in about a week or more for a lot of you you guys will be shooting till so I know in the Midwest it's getting ready to fire up so I just want to help my brothers out all you foul addicts out there and give you the heads up if you guys like these rules and regulations uh, videos smash that thumbs up to let me know or drop a comment and let me know and I will bring more to you so Today, guys, it's all about lead shot, and if it's illegal to have on your person, in your gun, in your truck, so, you know, a lot of the bottoms that you hunt, the marshes, the public spots, all that stuff, we're going to get into it right away because I don't want to waste any time. So, guys, just like the last video, I uh, got on some web page forums, some hunting forums, some blogs and conversational forums, whatever you, you guys call them, and I researched... Uh, some people that's actually got in trouble for having lead on them in their truck or in their gun and this is what I found. Worst case scenario would be you get caught with lead shot in your gun. Now, like I stated, what, what, what do you get hit with if you just have it in your blind bag, you know, out with you hunting but you're not actually using it? Well, here it is. So I'm gonna have to read from my notes just a hair bit because there was a lot of information that I found out last night. So. Uh, it seems like the trend at the low end that you'll receive is a thousand dollar fine and they can confiscate anything that is on federal property, meaning your truck, your boat, your gun, or anything. Now obviously they're going to go to farther extents uh, of charges if you have it in your gun and if you're hiding it. You know, anything that you do to uh, hide it or make it worse they're gonna make it worse for you. So a couple of these blog posts that I read were a few years old. So these laws and these fines and the amount and you know the weight of the fines might have went up from them. I'm not sure, but this is just some of the stuff I read. If you guys have any experience, if you had some buddies, if you had people get fined with having lead shot on them, and drop it in the comments and let me know uh, just to spread some knowledge. You know, I don't know a lot about this. I, I run our game, you know, my hunting game real tight. I make sure I don't have lead shot on me. So if you guys have any experience with what type of fines that you've seen handed out, drop them in the comments below and we'll get, we'll get some good comments generating so we can teach some people some shit. Now, I read one post on a forum that a guy said he had four shells so he didn't have a plug and so for one he didn't have a plug in and he had four lead shells in his shotgun while he was on public federal property shooting federal regulated waterfowl birds. I know that a lot of that didn't make a lot of sense. A lot of gibberish coming out of my dang mouth. But he actually went directly to jail. Now, no plug, lead shot. I don't blame a game warden for taking that dude to jail one bit. I mean, Jesus, man, do your research and stop being a dumbass here. I mean, that's just out of hand. So that brings me to my next question. What if you have it in your truck and not physically on your person, in your gun, or in your blind bag? Uh, I've read both. I've read that uh, some guys got still got charged a fine uh, for having it in their vehicle. The game warden actually searched their vehicle and, and found it and still charged them with having it on the property. Now, this is another incident where it's the other way around. I read some uh, posts that people said, I have it in my truck all the time. It's only illegal if I have it on my person or if I'm firing the shell. So, 
Again, drop your comments down below. I know you guys, there's some of you guys out there that know a bunch about this stuff, especially if you are a game warden. So if you're a game warden, drop some knowledge on us. I would greatly appreciate it. Oh boy. So I ran into some freaking tricksters, let me tell you, on this here forum. And one guy stated, what if I take steel, steel shot cartridges, so just the plastic, just the brass, all that crap, uh, well, what if I take the cartridge and reload it with lead? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now, guys, I've never heard of Game Wardens doing this. I've never ran into this a bunch. But one guy said uh, from where he was from, I can't remember the state exactly, maybe Wisconsin or something, that the Game Wardens, if they think that you're firing lead, they will cut every shell open that you have on your person and test it with magnets. So, guys, don't try to beat the system. Don't try to save a buck uh, firing lead shot because you are going to end up in trouble eventually. Just don't do it, guys. Please. Now, guys, just like I stated in the last video about not having your plug in, uh, this is just a reminder for you guys. I know all you guys. I, I know you guys are not stupid. I know you're not stupid, but I'm just wanting to put a simple reminder out there. We're getting a lot of new subscribers every day. This, this might be their first year waterfowl hunting. So these things might be important, really actually, you, you, know, you know, they might be really, I can't talk. They might be really, really vital to some people, especially if it's their first year waterfowl hunting. So this is just a reminder, guys. I know a lot of you guys are from the Midwest like I am, and our teal and dove run together. And I just don't want you guys to be getting caught with lead shot on you and not having your plug in. So... Just trying to save you fellas. That's all I'm trying to do. <sighs> but like always, I thank you guys for watching. Guys, just si si simple, simple, simple stuff here. Leave your lead at home. If you're going to go shoot ducks, leave the freaking lead at home. Don't even have it. I, I, I don't even have it in my truck when, when, we, when we go goose hunting or waterfowl hunting in general. So just leave it at home. Bide yourself the hassle. Just don't deal with it. But... If you have not followed me on Instagram, I ask you to, get, to do so. Follow me here, Bobby underscore guy underscore films on Instagram. Uh, I always try to keep my page updated and active, have my story active for you fellas. So go do that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe if you haven't because this year is going to be packed just like the whole summer has full of waterfowl, how to's, and big old hunts. Me and Flair are going to be linking up, doing some till hunting coming up soon. So be expecting those videos. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my